Get out of my face, man. Get away from Lori. What is your problem? This is personal. Jamie, it's okay. No, it's not okay. Where the hell do you get off butting your face in my business? I care about Lori. Since when? Jamie, let it go. No, he's acting like he owns you. No, that's what you do, Jamie. What? Are you serious? He's just looking out for me. He's being a friend. Dr. Evil doesn't have any friends. I know the body count. I know the lives you've ruined. I don't ever want to see you come learn, Lori. Get just what the world needs. Another big mouth, Martin. Dr. Oh, Hayward, you want please. to check out what kind of man I really am? Is that what you want? Get your hands off my with? son. You don't have to worry about anything now, Jamie. Daddy's here to protect you from big, bad Dr. Evil. Why the hell does he need protecting? You should feel proud, Tad. Your son's a chip off the old block. What is he ranting about? I was having a private conversation with Lori. Yeah, and he needs to work on his charm. Instead of swooning, Lori was close to tears. Lori, you all right? I'm fine. Can we just forget it? No. Not until Jamie here apologizes for getting in your face. Hey, whatever they're talking about has nothing to do with you. That's what I said. <laughs> well, look at this. For a change, I'm being double teamed by Martin Men. Oh, maybe you should uh, call Jake and Joe, get them in on this, huh? I mean, right or wrong, life or death, the Martins always stick together, don't they? Lori, you've got customers waiting to order? I'm sorry, Mr. Hanks. Is there a problem, gentlemen? This young man was harassing Lori. I want him thrown out. You're the one getting violent. Why don't you leave? Why don't we just lower your voices and take your seats, okay? Why don't you go back to your fry vats and your shake machines? Sir, I'm going to ask you to leave. Oh, is that the new BJ's policy? No shoes, no soul, no service? Are you leaving or do I call the police? Whatever makes you feel like a man. That's fine. That's it. <laughs> Whatever happened to the customer is always right. Went out the window with self-respect. You've got some kind of delusional problem with me or my father. You bring it on. But don't you ever take it out on my son. You mean the way you took it out on my daughter? That's your bizarre fantasy. I'm not going to go there with you. Go where? Dixieland? Love in the afternoon? Your wife in my bed? Dad? No, it's okay. No, it's not okay, Jamie. You see, when your father here ran out of steam, his wife came running to me. And Tad just couldn't take that. I didn't take her away from you, Tad. Dixie came running to me. She was running as fast as she could to get into my bed away from you. Let's not do this here. No, why not? Huh? I mean, this is a family restaurant, isn't it? It's all about family values. Excuse me, everybody. If you could stop shoving your faces for one moment, I'd like to share one thing of interest with all of you. My name is Dr. David Hayward, and I slept with this man's wife. Oh, my God. And all this time, he has been dying to get back at me. Well, he finally did get back at me. You see this man right here? Tad Martin? He killed my little girl.
watch this little girl be lowered into the cold, dark earth. So what if he had suffered like we have? What would that do for you, David? Would that bring the aura back? Take away your pain? You're so lost, David. I know exactly where I am. Do you? God. I don't. I wake up in the morning and this... This big black pit that I could fall into. And I don't know if I'm going to make it through the day. At all. So I just... I go through the motions. I get dressed. I do my hair. I don't ask any questions that I don't know the answer to. Just keep going. Yeah, I get it. You just go on like Leora never existed, right? You carry on. You carry on. With the love that that little baby gave us. And using her death as an excuse to lash out and hate. That is an insult to her memory, David. my call to make, not yours. I'm just telling you. Okay. 